Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. I'm sitting down with my latte this morning. I just filmed this eye look for my Instagram story, so you guys can jump over there and find it in the highlights, or it's already a reel. Um, I'll have it linked down below so it's a little bit easier for you guys to find it. But I want to definitely add color to my lower lash line. But as you guys can see from the title of today's video, I am finally getting around to doing some more wear test. And I have a couple foundations too. And some of them are just like samples. Like I want to try them out for myself to see if they're worth the buy. Um, if I already have the sample. So I thought, why not take you guys with me on that journey and um, try them out with you guys. And I'll do like the wear test throughout the day and then kind of at the end of the night, kind of wrap up my thoughts and see if it's a product that I'm actually gonna want to purchase myself. So talk about the product that I'm gonna be putting on my face. I'm first gonna go ahead and jump into my primer while we talk about this. I'm going to use a primer that I do really, really enjoy and really like. Um, I'm just gonna go kind of light with it because this is the Pure Lee Silk Glow BB Base Primer, and it kind of is a thicker consistency, so I really don't want it to mess with anything since I'm going into a BB today. Um, it does kind of like blend out, but I guess by thicker I just mean like it's one that's really going to fill in your pores, and sometimes those are a little bit trickier ones to use while testing out a product, but still like my primer to set into my skin for at least 30 seconds if not a full minute before going into my product and we want to give these products the benefit of the doubt and every extra mile we can give them <laughs> while trying them out so I will be powdering today I will be using a setting spray I use powder and setting spray every single day I'm dry to combo more oily in my t-zone so um, products are just not going to wear great if I don't so it's just how I wear my products every day I'm not going to change it for a wear test when originally I would wear it that way but I have this sample here today um, I think these have been around for quite some time now but I love BB creams I'm always down to try new uh, tinted moisturizers BB creams that type of ordeal and that's exactly what this is it's from the Sephora collection at Sephora um, it is the matte perfection tinted moisturizer now I like the second half of that, the tinted moisturizer. I'm not so sure about the matte perfection though, and I think that's what I'm gonna be like, ugh, about. But like I mentioned, I'm dry to combo, and in the summertime, I get a lot more combo than I do any other time of the year. So I think it's kind of a good time to put it to the test and see what I think if I'm outside today in the garden or, you know, just doing things around the house. It gets like a little bit more hot around here, so this humidity is insane. Um, so I have three colors right here. I've already opened the uh, lightest one because I kind of wanted to patch it on the back of my hand. It doesn't look bad on the back of my hand, but I feel like once I put it on my face, it's going to make me look like a ghost. So we may have to do some extra bronzing today, but again, it's a sample. Um, I can kind of see if I need to go up a shade if it is too pale on me. So don't come at me for the shade match today. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and start applying this to my skin and I will kind of multitask and read you guys all of these deets as well. Extremely runny and liquidy right off the bat. So I'm going to try to scoop it out a little bit and mix it on the back of my hand and then go straight to my face with it. If you've been watching my channel recently, you know that I have been a brush girl <laughs> with almost all my products recently. Um, so I do have my brush, but I did go ahead and damp a sponge as well for this just to kind of see if we can see a difference. I can say I don't wear matte products a whole lot, but in the past when I did, I liked the application with the damp sponge versus a brush. So we will see. This is also a tinted moisturizer, so it might just be best applied with your hands, but this is what it looks like. It's a very, very pale, very, very pale. It kind of looks like my neck at this point, though. I am so pale. You think I would have more color with it being summertime, but the life of a ginger. The Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer is a mattifying formula that provides sheer to medium buildable coverage with a weightless finish. It is instantly supposed to moisturize the skin. It is also dermatologist tested and also supposed to be really good if you have acne. It's supposed to really help fight against the acne as well, which I think is really cool. Um, it does say shake well, so yes, it's a good thing I did mix this up before going into it. 
It says 100% of users agree it feels weightless on the skin and 91% of users agree that it evens skin tone. It is available in 16 shades and that doesn't really seem like a whole lot, but I really don't think that's a bad amount for a tinted moisturizer. Um, that's not going to really give you a lot, a lot of coverage. It's going to really blend with the skin. I have three samples right here. I have zero one lace on my skin today. And then next to it, I have kind of a medium one, which is zero eight canvas. And then the dark one that I have here is actually the deepest shade 16 velvet. You can see it definitely needs to be shaken up. In the actual photo, you can see that there is quite a bit of a difference in the shade range right there. Price for the full size is $18, which I also don't think is bad. And as I'm blending it out, you can see that honestly applied really, really well with the brush. And I felt like it really wasn't looking bad. I'm definitely very, very pale. <laughs> um, the hard part with this is I think the next one up might be perfect or it might be a smidge too dark. So yeah, it's kind of fighting with that with colors. But thankfully, since it is a tinted moisturizer, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal to go up a shade from this one if I decided to buy it. Once I switched over to the sponge side, you can see that I've switched right back to the brush because I felt like the sponge took a lot of the product. I felt like it was going on okay application wise, but it was just stilling so much product that I decided to go back in with a brush with the rest of the product and apply it to match up with the other side of the face. And here I am, uh, full face with it on, no concealer, nothing else yet, of course. I am going to be using concealer for my under eyes because they're dark right now. Um, I also have a second head right now, right there. It's ginormous and very, very painful. This is probably not a good day to do this. Um, but this one does have claims to be really good if you do have acne and stuff. Um, so that's pretty nice. But let's get into it first impressions wise. I can say literally felt like I was putting air on my skin. That is a plus. It feels really, really like I can't even feel it on my skin right now. It does kind of have a slit, slight, it does kind of have like a slight foundation scent to it, which is interesting since it is just a tinted moisturizer, but it doesn't really bother me. I can still smell it while it's just on my face though. So that might be an issue for, for some. I can kind of see like I'm sure if I mention it again later on the video, I can still smell it, but I'm thinking once I apply all my other product, I won't be able to smell it anymore. Coverage is honestly not bad. I mean, I feel like I've had worse with tinted moisturizers. Like, I feel like it is a okay coverage, and I do believe the um, claim that you can build it up. I think you could definitely get a medium uh, coverage with this tinted moisturizer, which I think is really, really cool. Right after I applied it, it's kind of hard to see, but I do feel like it still kind of went into my pores or settled in a really strange way that at first I was just kind of like, ugh, about like, I don't know if I'm really gonna like this or not. I can say as I've been wearing it still, it doesn't look as bad. So I think once I finish my face, and do setting spray and all of that, I will be really good. I don't think that will really bother me either. I think the only other thing is for me is just the look of it. I love dewy and I love that glow and I think that's gonna be the only thing here that is just going to be like, ugh, for me. I don't really know if I'm vibing with it, but we'll see. I'm not gonna judge it straight from the get-go yet, even though I kind of have already. <laughs> I'm gonna go into my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and then do a little bit of powder. I'm gonna do my normal powder routine for the summertime. I've been using a pressed powder and just mainly going in my T-zone with it. Um, I kinda wanna see how cream products apply to my face. I think I have a powder highlighter I'm wanting to use today because I'm filming something with it, but... Um, blush and bronzer. I might do cream just to see how cream blend over a matte tinted moisturizer. I'm a little intrigued about it, but I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer and powder because I'm looking rough right now. I didn't want to apply too much of this because I really want to see like how um, this product wears, but at the same time, it's always nice to see like how the product works with your other products that you already really like. So we'll kind of see that with powder and concealer. So far it looks like it's blending out okay and since 
my concealer is more my shade. <laughs> Maybe it'll balance that out a little bit too since it's so pale. Okay, so texture wise, it blended out okay over a matte base. Shade wise, you can see the difference. You can see how my concealer looks a little orange or whatever through there. And it's because that's usually my skin tone and this white base is just making me look really pale so I'm hoping I'll be able to fix it. We will see. <laughs> I'm gonna go into some uh, products that I've been wearing a lot recently um, that I absolutely love. My Soul Body Cream Bronzer. It's like a bronzing balm and I'm just gonna use the same foundation brush to apply this. I'm really hoping that I can warm up this face. For blush, I was risky with this one. This is the Dewy Blush. It's a glossy cheek tint from Ciate London and um, it's a little like balmy, kind of like my bronzer I use. So I was like, man, this may just be a disaster. I may have to scrap this whole video if this is bad. It doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Charlotte Tilbury powder, powder up my face, finish my eye look, the whole face, and we'll come back and see what we think. All right, I'm back with the full face. Um, I'm still gonna do full wear test, so I don't wanna say too, too much besides the fact that I actually really like how it's looking. I feel like mixed with the bronzer, it kind of oxidized a little bit. Like, it's so weird because I went from being like so pale on my face to like my neck looking really white now. So maybe I went a little too heavy with the bronzer and then it oxidized a little bit. I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think though. All makeup dates are down below in the description if you're interested in what's on my face. Um, I'm actually pretty obsessed with how it looks. It looks very, very full glam, which is very strange because I feel like there wasn't a whole lot of coverage to begin with, but I don't know, I'm really liking how it looks. And I do just have powder highlight on. I went into my Stay Spray from Tarte. This has been my go-to this summer to keep makeup in place. Everything's looking really good. I really like the way my skin looks right now. Even up close, I feel like in places it still looks very matte and I'm not like the hugest fan of that. Um, but I'm kind of interested to see how it wears throughout the day. Do I think this is going to be one that I'm probably going to buy? I mean, maybe I'll see by the end of the night, but as of right now, no. I feel like I like the way my other ones, I guess, perform a little bit more than this one. And I really like to see the dewiness of my skin even before I add any type of other product to it. So I think it's just that matte look that's really throwing me off. But um, I feel like if you have really, really oily skin and you want to do a tinted moisturizer, you might want to try this one out. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. But so far, I feel like oily skin people would probably really, really love this one. And um, or if you just like a nice little matte look every once in a while, but you're like me and you're really used to that lightweight BB tinted moisturizer filling. Try this one too, you might like it before that too. But let's see, next time you guys see me, it'll be the end of the night and we'll see how it wears down, if it breaks down anywhere, separates, all that type of ordeal. This is why I do wear test. <laughs> so it's been a full eight hours. Well, I'm coming up in about 30 minutes on the eight hour mark, which is usually about as long as I go with these wear tests because I feel like eight hours is a good day wear. I apologize my my hair and everything else is just kind of like whatever at this point. It's late. I mean my eyeshadow still looks pretty decent. <laughs> uh, my face doesn't look that that bad from further away but I feel like really up close it's just reminding me of why I hate foundations which is weird since this is a tinted moisturizer. I feel like it shouldn't be doing this to my skin. Again, I feel like further away, or looking at my like viewfinder, and what you guys are seeing, it doesn't look that bad, but like when you get up close, it's just, it's separating in a lot of areas. It kind of is making my skin look like it has so much texture, and that I haven't, and my pimple today, I haven't really even touched or messed with. Mind you, that's the biggest breakout I have gotten and so so long like I have like little breakouts here and there but like an actual like breakout like one that's the biggest <laughs> that I've had in ages but usually my concealer will still kind of do an okay job keeping it covered throughout the day and I did powder it so yeah 
I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like it's not really my cup of tea. Again, um, I would probably be less eerie about it if you are very oily. Um, you would probably like this a lot more than what I do. I do feel like as far as that goes, like the matte, I don't know. Like I feel like looking in the viewfinder right now, like, and even in my mirror, like I look dewy. Like I don't really look matte anymore. Oh, around my nose, like through there, like forget the pimple, all through there just looks so bad. Like back when I used to wear like a foundation that I wasn't really a big fan of or would look good for like the first two hours and then wear down, that's the vibe that I'm getting right now and I, I don't like it. Tinted moisturizers just don't really do that for me and a lot of the time if they do, they're really easy to just like powder or um, kind of dab in and then it's like perfect again where with this since it is that matte uh, texture to begin with it kind of just whenever you do try to dab at it or, and I feel like it may have even like I don't know like it doesn't fix anything it doesn't do anything nope it's not a one for me um, I feel like it's been a really long time that I've done one of these wear tests and not been like you know Oh, it's decent or I really really like this it looks so good so kind of bum but at the same time you win some you lose some um, it's really hard I would love to say it's gonna be perfect for people with oily skin but I I really don't know I feel like I stay pretty oily comboed oily in my t-zone during the summer and I hate the way it's looking around my nose where I get kind of oily. So I don't know. This just may be a dud for me, not something I recommend. Unfortunately, but I will be back soon with another one of these. Um, thank you if you stuck along. I can say around my cheeks and stuff, it doesn't like in the viewfinder, that doesn't look too bad. Like I could sit down and film another video. Like that doesn't look bad. It's just mainly like really up close and the crevices. <laughs> But let me know if you guys have tried this, I keep forgetting what it's called, uh, Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer from the Sephora Collection. Let me know if you guys have tried it. I think it's been around for a while, just my first time trying it, but I'm not too impressed. There's definitely a lot other tinted, moisture, tinted moisturizers out there that are even around that price point that are 10 times better, so yeah. Check out some of my past videos if you guys want some recommendations. But thank you guys for hanging out with me today for a very long wear test. I'm ready to get this makeup off my face, put a mask or something on this pimple, try to get the swelling down a little bit. It's intense and I should have not done a wear test out of all things today with a big breakout like that, but that's how it goes. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next video.